despite the external headwinds and uncertainties and fears of a global recession. You're confident you could hit 11 billion Singapore dollars by 2026. Where is all that growth going to come from? Organic or inorganic? We are quite on track to achieve that target that we have set for ourselves based on the last year's results and based on the momentum that we are seeing. Did you take into account any global recession? Is that something you're watching across the horizon? Oh yes indeed. Uh, our target is based on the fact that our business will grow two to three times global GDP growth rate. So we do have a range bound, uh, a set of conditions to meet. In a case where global growth slows down a little bit, then we will probably end up in the lower range of the, uh, the target. But still again, I think $11 billion target, uh, we are well on track to achieve. Mm. Could you do better? We always aim to do better. How much better? I think it's hard to tell because uh, there are things that, we, things that we cannot control, macro factors, but we can only mitigate those effects. But net-net, we are still uh, positive and optimistic that we will hit our target. Mm. Is there any other new areas of business you want to get into? In addition to strengthening our base business and growing in smart city and international defence, we will also grow our digital business, which is part of smart city. Digital business in the area of cloud, AI analytics and cyber security. We also said that we will more than double our sustainability linked businesses by 2026 to uh, $3 billion. So that's kind of our new uh, so-called frontier and overlay, um, but the fundamental uh, strategy remains unchanged. We are also looking at other areas of uh, businesses that are adjacent to us that leverage on that we can harness our core capabilities on. For example, in the area of sustainability, um, I would say sustainable composites uh, being one of them. So we are looking at all possibilities. Across your businesses, R&D, developing your core technologies, is critical in helping you secure new businesses. You have a team of 17,000 engineers working for you. How exactly do you foster that culture of innovation and drive great ideas within the company? We have committed about four to five hundred million dollars a year. We plan for four to five hundred million dollars a year of investment in R&D. And our approach to technology and innovation is also varied. We have multiple levers, not just by developing technology on our own, but also collaborating with others. We also invest in promising startups that have very good technology to uh, fast track our technology development by co-creating new solutions with them. So for that, we set up a uh, corporate venture fund, capital fund, a few years ago, 150 million US dollars. We have invested in almost about 12 companies now, and we are actually very pleased with the progress that we have made.